Welcome to the Mini-DV conversion tutorial. First things first, make sure your laptop is plugged into a power source. The cord plugs into the round port in the upper left corner. Next, connect the external hard drive to the laptop, which plugs into one of the laptop's USB ports. Take the Canon camcorder and plug it into an outlet using the power cord. It attaches to the camera through a port on the back of the device. Using the FireWire cord, connect the camcorder to the laptop. One end goes into the side of the camera. The other end inserts into the computer between the power cord port and the USB ports. On the bottom of the camcorder is the open slash eject button, which you'll need to slide to the right to open the tape compartment. Insert the mini DV cassette label side up. Once it's in, gently shut the cassette compartment. Use the dial on the side of the camcorder to set the camera to play. Now that everything's set up, we can get started digitizing from the laptop. From the taskbar, click on the Movie Maker icon. Once the application is open, click on the drop-down menu in the upper left corner. From the expanded menu, choose Import from Device. From the pop-up window, choose the camcorder it shows you and click Import. Before we start importing the video, we should choose a place to save the video. To do so, click More Options. From the pop-up window, choose Browse next to the Import To bar. Choose the Toshiba external hard drive. Saving to the high capacity external hard drive ensures that we don't run out of space on the laptop's internal hard drive and lose our video capture altogether. Type a name for your video file and select whether you would like to import the entire video or choose parts of the video. If your mini DV tape is only partially full, you may want to choose parts of the video to import. Click Next. To choose part of the video, you can control the tape in the camcorder with the buttons on screen by rewinding or fast forwarding to the point you would like to start importing. Click the import button to begin. You'll see the video play in the window as it imports. When it has completed recording what you want, click the stop button, followed by the finish button in the lower right. To see where it's saved or to open it again for editing, Simply click on the file icon in the taskbar. Then click on the Toshiba external hard drive and choose the folder into which you save the video file. As you can see upon clicking on the video, the size will be pretty big. For just a minute of recording, this video is 209 megabytes. This will be your archival or master copy, and in a moment we'll explore how to make a use or access copy that will be more modest in size. To edit the video again, right-click it and choose to open with Movie Maker. Then you can make any edits you like. Now, if you would like to create a more manageable access file, you can close all your windows and choose the Handbrake icon from the taskbar. Within Handbrake, click on the Source tab. Under Source Selection, choose the second option to open a single file. Navigate to the Toshiba external hard drive and open the .avi video file you imported earlier. Before we convert the file to a smaller format, we have to choose a destination for this file to save as well. Next to the file destination bar, choose Browse. You can also save this file to the Toshiba external hard drive, though you should name this file differently from the first. When you're finished, click Save. The rest of the default settings should be good for most users. You're now ready to click Start. When your video is done, you can find it in the location you chose to save it. And as you can see, this MP4 version is just 26.5 megabytes for a minute of video, compared with the 209 megabytes of our first file. Now you have an archival and use copy of your converted mini DV video. Thanks for watching!